In today's video, I'm gonna give you 11 business ideas that I think can legit make you millions. These are all proven businesses where artists are able to leverage their skills and make things a reality. Watch till the end because there is a lot of knowledge packed into this one and you don't want to miss that. But before we do that, I just want to let you guys know that the Blender Market is having right now its biggest sale of the year from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. So if you want to get some add-ons, materials or 3D assets, this is your chance to do so at a 25% discount. Also I have in the description of this video a list of the most popular and powerful Blender add-ons to help you get started and get the best deals. Number 11. Creating a business around selling 3D models If you have been selling many 3D models and 3D assets, including characters, props or environments for a long time in fields such as video game development, VFX or ArcViz, then the next level is creating a business around that. Achieving this is really simple and straightforward, but it takes experience and hard work. One prominent example in this type of business is Decagon, a team of professionals dedicated to creating high-quality game-ready assets for game development studios and individuals alike. They sell their stuff on many marketplaces in addition to their website. The thing is, you need to be successful at selling 3D models in the first place, and if you can make a living out of that, then you can replicate that and build a business around it which is basically figuring out what sells most and then hiring the best people that you can find online or in your local area. You will need a team to help you scale the business and create even more assets that you can sell for better profits. This thing is really possible, especially if you hire artists from countries where the currency rate is low. You will be able to leverage their skills, which is a win-win for you and them. In this case, you will manage to operate a business that would make profits. However, due to fierce competition, the task might be a little bit hard, but you can do it nonetheless. Personally, I have dozens of 3D game ready assets that make me passive income on the side. It is not that much, but it is nice to have it. Number 10. You can create an art outsourcing studio. Still around the same point, you can start an asset outsourcing studio. The next step from selling 3D models is to create a studio that game studios, for example, rely on to outsource the process of creating game assets, which is really powerful, especially knowing that big studios are always under serious deadlines, crunch and stuff, so they want to alleviate the pressure to someone else, and this is where you come in. You can gather a really talented team of artists such as yourself and use your experience in getting clients. If you have done freelance work before, or if you have a portfolio that shows you have capabilities, especially working with big VFX or game studios, you can start doing jobs for medium sized or big studios and build up your reputation to reach a level where you will be able to get even bigger jobs, especially from the best studios that will eventually allow you to generate huge sums of money, maybe even millions of dollars. Generally speaking, these asset outsourcing studios help bigger studios reach their goals and create their games before the deadline, knowing that the game development industry is filled with a lot of delays, a lot of problems such as ever increasing budgets and other stuff that they don't want to deal with creating a large video game such as a triple A project. Now, let's take Decagon as an example again, because they sell 3D models in addition to being an art outsourcing studio. Regardless of competition, they managed to stand out from the crowd thanks to its talented artists from around the world. Creating high-quality 3D game environments, also they do scene layout and design, look development, hard surface and organic modeling, 3D prototyping in addition to PBR texturing. As I said, they come in as a helping hand for bigger studios to work on larger projects. So the trick is to find a need and fill it in the market. Number 9. You can create a business around courses or create an art school. If you have experience in fields such as animation, 3D modeling, game development, VFX or design, you can actually create a business around that. You can start by creating a website where you will share your knowledge and create courses, especially if you can do marketing, which is a problem that several artists encounter not knowing how to market their products. The latter is the essential component in any online business, otherwise your product will go unnoticed. One effective way to market your courses is to create a YouTube channel, for example, to sell to your audience. The same applies for a website, a forum, or anything like that. 
Some people went on to create their own websites or maybe sell on bigger platforms such as Skillshare, Udemy or Teachable, which is also an option. But at the end of the day, if you can leverage your skills in courses or training videos, it is also gonna be a really good idea to create a business. Now, the next step from selling courses, which can help you create a beautiful thing, is creating a school whether it be online or just a physical school with a physical location. This requires highly skilled and professional artists who would work for you to teach beginners and intermediate level artists and even advanced students how to do things the right way. I believe the most profitable and best schools are those who offer curriculums, or you can enroll for a few months depending on the school and their curriculum and the 3D software they teach. They teach subjects such as animation, VFX and game development, schools such as Noman Workshop, CG Spectrum and many others. These ones are really successful and their prices are somewhat high. So you can see the difference here between buying courses that can cost only hundreds of dollars compared to paying thousands of dollars for studying with professionals. But the good thing is as a professional, you're gonna give feedback and help students reach a really good level in whatever you are teaching, whether it be VFX or game development or design or anything else. If you have the right skills, then this can be a great idea for you, especially in the next few years, because e-learning is becoming the thing and I bet on it to be the future. Number 8. Selling Material Packs and Libraries The next point is creating a business around materials and material packs. There is only one reason that you need to start a business such as this one, which is the fact that demand for material packs and libraries is enormous. You can take a look at the company that Andrew Price aka Blender Guru has created which is called Polygon, not sponsored by the way. Anyways, you can rest assured that this company is making millions of dollars because the demand for this type of product is huge. If you have a good team behind what you do, you will be able to monetize this really easily, especially if you are good in the marketing department. You can do this for free if you have a website, maybe a YouTube channel to market your stuff, and you're gonna be set. Paid advertising can work too if you ask YouTubers to do paid integrations or buy ad space from our related website owners. Additionally, you can also use marketplaces to help you sell your products. But if you want to create a solid and legit business, you have to find ways to create a successful website slash business like Andrew Price did. So the answer is, as I said before, it comes down to creating a good product and letting people know about it, which is basically marketing. You can sell your material libraries and material packs to game developers, VFX studios, and especially architects and archivist artists. If you know how to create procedural materials, it's gonna be even better because it is the new norm nowadays, since a lot of people are finding them to be super useful. Number 7. Developing add-ons This one is big. You can create a legit business around selling add-ons because the demand for third-party tools, especially for software such as Blender, is huge. Literally, the market is full of developers, but still, the demand can match that easily. First of all, because Blender is free and people don't mind spending a few dollars on purchasing a good tool that they're gonna use to make their lives easier and their workflow much more faster and much more efficient. For this reason alone, if you do the right thing and create the right tools, you're gonna be selling at least tens of copies per month, which is not very bad as a start. There are many established companies that are selling add-ons and plugins for software such as Blender, Max, Maya, After Effects, Cinema 4D, and many others. And especially companies such as Grayscale Gorilla and Red Giant for Cinema 4D. In addition to Cineware, Kaius Group, Sinti Ziva VFX, and many other companies for 3D software such as Max and Maya. These companies I just mentioned create add-ons for industry standard tools in addition to Blender. On the other hand, Blender developers are creating tools for small teams and studios in addition to the community of artists. They may not be able to make millions like the previous companies, but at least they are making a living off of that. Generally speaking, if you want to go to the next level and make a legit business in this field, then you have to find a team of developers who can help you develop good tools, depending on the need of the market, in addition to the ability to market to the right audiences. Number 6. Creating a 3D printing business Another way to make a business around your skills in 3D is just by creating a 3D printing business. 3D printing is an emerging industry and tons of people want services in this field. They want to print 3D models and some businesses need some custom services. So you could excel in this emerging industry if you have the right skills, in addition to experience. But as a rule of thumb, you have to take these steps gradually. 
you can't start this business from scratch or from thin air. You need to have experience as I said. First, you have to spend years doing this and prove that you can sell your services or products before going full time and hiring people. Otherwise, it is gonna be very difficult. Especially knowing that this kind of business is digital, in addition to being physical, because you have to use 3D printers, printing materials, in addition to delivery, which can bring a new set of problems to your life, so you have to keep that in mind. Number 5. Selling NFTs The next business you can create, especially in this period of time, is selling NFTs. There are actually legit, fully fleshed companies dedicated to selling NFTs because if you have the right business and artistic skills, this thing can work. And somehow people are willing to pay hundreds or thousands of dollars and even millions of dollars to buy these goddamn NFTs. As I said, there are actual studios creating animated NFTs and still NFTs and many other different sorts of NFTs that people come by, which is proven to be profitable, especially in the early days like a couple of years ago, when the industry was booming. I wouldn't say that any of this is an industry in of itself, because it can disappear in an instant, just like that. But right now it is still a thing, even though now it is declining. If you can do it, you can make a lot of money off of that, especially if you create a business around it. Millions of dollars is no brainer, especially if you rip people off. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Seriously, if you can't make millions of dollars when you create a business such as this one, then don't start one in the first place, because you need to go big or go home. Number 4. Creating Indie Video Games This one is a bit tough because it really requires a lot of experience and skills. Since you don't only need one particular skill, but you need a set of particular skills, especially as an indie developer. You need to know a lot of stuff. Before you jump to creating an indie studio, you need to prove that you have created successful video games that have sold at least hundreds of copies and you can prove that you can live off of that, because if you want to make a lot of money from developing video games, you need to be hardworking and lucky while hiring the right people who can help you lift off this huge task. You can sell courses and teach people to do what you do while you are making video games, and you can also do crowdfunding. This way you can survive while making the game and when it is done, you will be probably able to sell hundreds of copies or maybe thousands of copies when it is done. If you don't like what you do in this business, it's gonna be extremely tough. A lot of people don't succeed in this field because it is highly competitive and it is super hard, but those who know what they are doing and they don't give up will eventually succeed. Number 3. You can create a VFX and CGI studio. Also, if you have been doing freelance gigs for a long time and you are thinking about the next level, you probably need to create a studio or company that specializes in 3D and VFX services. These are common nowadays because the demand is simply high all over the world. But as I said, before you do that, you need to prove to yourself that you are good as a freelancer. Or maybe you have worked in a company like this before, which means you have experience. You need to do it for many years to be professional and proficient at it especially on the marketing and client acquisition side. A good example that comes to mind is Andre Lebrov, who worked for many years as a freelancer in the 2000s, and then around 2014 or so, he created his own VFX studio called Out of Nothing. By the way, he has a YouTube channel and you probably know him from YouTube. When you have a pipeline that is proven when it comes to acquiring clients and selling your services successfully over and over again, you can scale your game by hiring other people who can adopt your system and bring even more clients, especially bigger clients at scale. This way, stress and pressure on your shoulders will be reduced and therefore profits will increase, especially with a much larger team and bigger clients. Number 2. Create a VFX Outsourcing Studio Alright, other than launching a VFX or CGI studio, another business idea that comes to mind is creating a VFX outsourcing studio. This can range from companies that work at lower rates in countries such as India, Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe to big VFX houses because big movie companies such as Marvel, DC and others have a lot of work, especially Netflix. They have huge tasks for VFX artists and many jobs in those fields, but it just depends on how good you are at delivering those results. However, working with big companies such as Marvel, DC or Netflix has not been the greatest in recent years due to tight deadlines, crunch, lower wages, long working hours and thin margins, because the industry is somewhat competitive. 
Different types of outsourcing studios are now working in countries that have lower currency rates, as I said, doing the mundane and hard job that is required from bigger studios, so they kinda give it to them so everyone can work, make profits, and succeed in the industry, even though sometimes this is hard to achieve, due to the low payments and the low sums of money allocated to those areas. For the most part, if you are willing to start this kind of business, you will be doing relatively easy repetitive tasks such as masking, rotoscoping, chroma keying, and match moving. These tasks might be easy for seasoned VFX artists, but the fact is, most of it is not creative, which can make it mundane. These tasks are usually outsourced because they don't need very skilled VFX artists, but take a long time. However, they are very important and necessary tasks in the VFX industry, especially under very tight and serious deadlines. Number 1. Creating a Marketplace The next business can literally make millions of dollars if you have the right skills. A marketplace is basically a platform where fellow artists can bring their assets, including 3D models, add-ons, 3D texture packs, in addition to courses and anything else that can be sold in one place. As you can see, nowadays we have some new and successful businesses of this type, I mean marketplaces such as BlenderMarket.com, FlipNormals, ArtStation, and so on. The thing is, you can't expect this to work in the first couple of years because it requires not only knowledge in art, but networking and business. All the above in addition to having resources to finance this project. It can be challenging at first, especially financially, if you don't have the right financial resources and qualified artists and technicians who can help you understand what the market needs and what the artists posting on your platform are doing. Furthermore, you need back-end developers, front-end developers, marketers and salespeople, and many other technicalities that don't occur to you right now. But to do it right, you need also to know how to process payments, like paying people, logistics, in addition to taxes, and many other things that you don't want to deal with right now as an artist. There are a lot of people who can pull this off, but it would take years to make profit. The gist of it is, if you are a beginner, this video probably is not for you, at least not right now. You need to cultivate the right skills that allow you to make a lot of money first as an individual artist, then you need to monetize that by going to the next level and going the right way. I don't see a lot of people creating videos like these around the internet. So if you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up. You can also let me know what you think in the comment section below and probably check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.